Hello all, welcome back to Mistledyne Online and our fourth review show. It's been super delayed and I apologize. I think it's been over a week that it's been delayed. And then, of course, I had to had to wait until Monday to do it. But it's coming out. It's done. Here it is. Enjoy. In today's show, we're going to look at Jack McClane, The Pandarus, and Necron. Enjoy. Straight into this, and the first shout out goes to Jack McLane. He games, he does all these awesome vlogs, he commentates on video. Hell yeah. Rock on, we subbing to your channel. Hit me so hard, I don't know where. Stars up in the air. Got me, got me with my. The first channel we're going to look at today is the long postponed Jack McLean. Jack man, I noticed your YouTube Earl is the youthful matrix, and I like it a lot. I was just wondering why you don't choose to use it. Also, Jack has 158 subscribers with over 17,000 views, and Jack doesn't really have a central theme for his channel, but it absolutely works in his case. But I do wonder what would happen if you had a stronger idea of what your channel is. At the same time, though, I love that you just do whatever you feel like doing. I think it works really well with your personality. As always, though, let's start with your channel art. I love your banner. It's super simplistic yet artistic and eye-catching, which is great, and I think completely necessary for your type of channel. Your thumbnails are simplistic, but for the most part, they make me want to click on them. You add just enough to them to entice me, but not too much where I already know everything about the video and therefore don't need to watch it. Some people do that. You don't. I like it. Sometimes your descriptions are okay and sometimes they aren't. I would suggest taking a look at them when you have more time and add more about the video to them. I love that your links are included, but don't forget that the first few lines of a description show up in the search results. Also, your tags. Jack, man, you gotta add more tags. They really do help so much, especially with the type of videos that you do. Since they are so random, just adding a few random tags that, ha that actually do pertain to the video will help you. You do some tags, but fill that up. Use what that YouTube gave you. Let's talk about the actual content on your channel. My gods and goddesses, it's awfully funny. I really enjoy most of your videos, and you have a very family guy sense of humor. Seriously, I actually think the use of like cutaway gags would work really well for you. Try experimenting with them and see if you enjoy them. Your type of content kind of lends itself to that idea, as well as your sense of humor, so I'd love to see that implemented somehow in your channel. Yes, your videos are random, but you still provide entertaining content regardless of the material. For example, I didn't like the Fantastic Four trailer, but I thoroughly enjoyed your reaction video. Other videos, though, I think could use more time on the editing table. Take your time to add the finesse that your videos deserve. I'm specifically thinking of the I Hate Destiny video. There were a lot of moments that could have been edited out. And I'll finish up with your channel trailer. I love it. Seriously, it was one of the best channel trailers I've ever seen on YouTube. It shows me how creative you are and that you are definitely capable of editing high quality content. I love the use of voiceovers from other channels that you used in the beginning of it. And overall, your channel is high quality and it makes people want to subscribe. But finally, I think you have a great funny channel that you know how to run. I think the biggest thing from you, for you from this point on is to uh, increase your production value and consistent quality of videos. You have this sense of humor and creativeness to really grow your channel, but your videos fluctuate too much. Sometimes you'll put out a video that is just honestly outstanding, and another time you'll put out a video that's not very good. Uh, and I'd like to see a more consistent, outstanding quality of videos. I know that's very hard to do on YouTube, but I think, I think you can do it. I have a hat. And this is my hat. There are many like it. But this one, this one's mine. The next channel we will be looking at is the Pandrus Gaming Channel. He has 16 subscribers and 294 views and started YouTube a mere few months ago. I think he literally started in November. So that's not terrible considering how new he actually is. So before we begin, let me preface this with, I'm sorry I'm about to rip you apart. Your YouTube channel is simply not up to snuff, and I definitely thought about not having you on the show, yet. But I think you have an incredible amount of potential with a very large amount to learn. I would suggest looking at my previous review show videos and take some pointers from those. I'll actually put the links in the description of this video. 
I would go into it, but I mostly don't want to make this video that long. You need channel art, better tags and descriptions, and you simply need to work on editing your videos further. Live streams really don't translate well to YouTube, and the only form of that that I've seen work is podcast, and even then, rarely. Your titles are also not enough. Nothing makes me want to click on your videos since the thumbnails are virtually non-existent, and your titles aren't very engaging. Let's Play Minecraft number 3 doesn't set you apart from the thousands of other Minecraft players. Your upload consistency just isn't there either. I think your last video was around 21 days ago, and on YouTube that's virtually a death sentence. But all this said, once you own your craft, you will go far. You have a good voice and interesting accent, and you are actually very funny. I wish I could say more, but you honestly just need to look at your channel and do an overhaul. But I think it is something that you can do, and you totally should do if you want to see your channel take off on YouTube. And finally, and very quickly, we will be looking at Nacron, our very, very first music channel. And it's a good one, who deserves more views and subscribers. Nacron, I will be using your music in the future and promoting you. Maybe we can even work something out where you remix me or something and I can use it in my channel trailer just to get you that little bit of more views and hopefully subscribers over on your channel. Your art is great and I can't really comment on tags or anything since it's music and it's all music that you create. Your channel is your channel art is simply your name and it works totally. I know who I'm watching when I'm listening to you. I've seen you use forums and whatnot, so I know you are clearly advertising. I would suggest getting on social media though and communicating with bigger YouTubers, even streamers. Uh, usually they'll be able to use your songs and streams and stuff like that since Twitch has such a strict policy. Same with YouTube videos because I noticed that you do allow people to use your music as long as they credit you and I think that is going to be your biggest strength in gaining subs and views is people, you communicating with the bigger people and having them kind of show you off. To really get out there, I have a suggestion though. This is not something you have to do by any means and it's just an idea. Remixing popular songs and video game music and stuff like that will help you. It'll help your search rankings and help you grow an audience until you can focus on what you really want to create. Either way, I love your music and your use policies and I'd love to see you grow. Uh, maybe, again, just send me a message and we can work something out where we can try to get you promoted and I can also send you over to some other YouTubers that probably would love to use your music. Again, the music you create is super catchy, I just think that you could grow a lot faster if you use video game music remixes and stuff like that, just because you can then advertise in other places, like OC Remix. Thank you guys so much for watching the review show, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I know I did. It was very cool to cover a music channel, although it is a lot harder to review a music channel when you, uh, when you don't really know anything about a music. It's really hard. But the rest were really fun too, and Nacron is deserving of some views. Everyone here is deserving of some views. Go check them out. Uh, subscribe to them if you like their content. I promise you will find something enjoyable on each of their channels at least once. So go ahead, figure it out, find it, have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow on The Daily Dose. And remember, never give up, never surrender.